I went to college, I went to college at the University of Oregon in a town called Eugene. And this was in the early 90s. At first, Eugene didn't have a lot to recommend it to somebody like me, but after I lived there for a little while, it became clear that there was this incredibly exciting music scene, and it was this little, small Eugene version of this explosive music scene that was happening all up and down the Pacific Northwest. So up and down what we call the I-5 corridor up in Seattle, a little band that you might have heard about called Nirvana was starting to get big, and down in Olympia, bands like Beat Happening and Sun Velvet Sidewalk, and down in Portland, it was bands like Cracker Bash and the Spinets. And in Eugene, it was bands like Muscle Wild 5 and Cherry Pop and Daddies. So I lived there at this incredibly fertile time. There were all these amazing bands. It seemed like everybody had a basement. Everybody was in two or three bands. A lot of my friends and the guy who became my husband, they were all in bands. And uh, I just was sort of part of the scene. And so music and, and love, it sort of all connects to me and it all sort of connects through Oregon. So that informs a lot of If I Stay. And while If I Stay is not set in any one particular place, it's not set in Eugene, or, um, or where Mia's from is not set in Eugene, it definitely is sort of informed by that whole part of my life.